Now everyone's familiar with the crossover and then the jump shot after the crossover. That's kind of what I looked like when I was younger. I was faster. I'm older now. But that's a standard move today. But we also want to have moves with our back to the basket. And once we pick the basketball up, we don't want to run out of options. We want to have plenty of options to be able to get the ball into the basket. So from here, I've got my right foot as my pivot foot and my back to the basket. I can either drop step towards the basket or I can come back around and shoot a fallaway jumper. Now, the reality is I actually have quite a few options from here. And I'm going to give you a thumbs up just because. Here's another crossover coming just because. So the beauty of being able to make these pivot moves is that you have just a ton of options after you've picked up your dribble. So you're definitely not out of options. You do not have to force up a bad shot unless you want to. Uh, you don't have to throw the basketball away to the defender, which usually that's, that's what ends up happening. Now, I've come to a jump stop, and I'm going to use my left foot, and I'm going to do pretty much a 180 and almost stumble in the process, but don't you stumble. Then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do a fallaway jumper. So that's one option. The next option here, I'm going to jump stop, and I'm going to use my other foot as my pivot foot, and you're going to see we're going to fake. We're going to fake that jump shot. We're actually going to step in, and we're going to do an old-fashioned up-and-under move towards the basket. Make the layup, though. A younger me probably would have made that layup easily. Uh, but you will make the layup because you're young and, you know, you've got more coordination. Once you are accustomed to making moves with your pivot foot or pivot feet and you don't travel, then you can just start making up moves, whatever it is that you want to, so long as you can get the ball into the basket. You're going to see yet another variation of the pivot move. Uh, again, your, your options are almost limitless. Once you pick up the basketball and you learn how to move your pivot foot around and not travel, I'm telling you, you you're just going to have a whole bunch of options. And you can fake out your cameraman. You can fake out any defender. It's just great. Here's one additional tip to put some additional polish on your pivot moves. You're going to see me jump stop in just a moment. My left foot is my pivot foot. And so I'm going to fake like I'm going to spin one way. I'm going to come back across like so. I can pick up my pivot foot at this point and still move across if I wanted to and still take a shot. And it will not be a travel. You have to perform this a little slowly, though. If you do this too quickly, it's going to look like a travel. If you do it just fast enough, you can end up making a really good move. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Make the pivot move work for you. Two thumbs up.